Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day as we continue our cruise through books of the Bible in four minutes. Today, book number eight in most Bibles, Ruth. I love this book. It's one of my favorite books. It's got one of my favorite passages of scripture. Let me lay it out to you. But as I do, I want to do it in reference to the video thought for the day I did yesterday. So if you haven't watched the one on the book of Judges, watch it. Because the book of Judges, which immediately precedes Ruth in many canons, and, and certainly in the time period of the Old Testament chronologically, um, the, the book of, of Judges was a book of despair and just a downward spiral of Israel because they they had no king on the throne and everybody did what was right. And it even says, and they didn't have God, they didn't follow God who was supposed to be their king. So right up against, nestled up against this book of, of uh, a, a downward spiral, and which ends with three of the worst chapters in the Bible for the the degradation and the horrific stuff that happens when, when God is not king, in comes the book of Ruth. And the book of Ruth begins with the story of a man named Elimelech. Elimelech in Hebrew means, my God is king. This book of Ruth stands out like a beacon of hope, of, of unwavering loyalty, and of love set against a book where God is not king and people are in a deplorable state. And so you've got in the book of Ruth a tribute to faithfulness and love. Now, Eli, it's not all good news. Elimelech, the king, I mean, uh, my God is king. That's his name. It's a man in Bethlehem. A famine hits the land. So he takes his wife, the cheerful Naomi, and they move over and and the they move to, to right across actually, into an area where the children take on Moabite wives. Um, uh, they're in Moab, and they have two boys, and those boys get married to two women. Well, the two boys die, and the husband dies, so Naomi is left with these two daughter-in-laws uh, that are Moabites. Naomi is going to move back to Bethlehem, back to Israel, and she tells her daughter-in-laws, just go back to your father's houses and try to find new husbands. But Ruth says, no, wherever you go, I'll go. Wherever you stay, I'll stay. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. It's one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Unwavering love and loyalty shown. So Ruth comes back with Naomi. Ruth gets to work trying to support Naomi by working in a field. There's a man named Boaz who loves the field. He's a godly man. He provides for Ruth. She catches his eye. And ultimately, uh, through the matchmaking wonders of Naomi, uh, uh, Ruth and Boaz get married. It's a fantastic story. And it doesn't end there. The story that begins with God as king is a story that ends with Boaz and Ruth having a son who has a son who gives off, uh, I guess he doesn't give birth, his wife does, to King David. And so from my God is king to the greatest king Israel ever had, all right together in four great chapters. It's your story in four short minutes. It's why I've made this your video thought for the day. Go read Ruth. Have a great day.